Hey everyone, I'm TH Pine and welcome to the Spectrum Retreat. What is the Spectrum Retreat, you ask? I like to call it a mix between a narrative-driven and a first-person puzzle game. It's gonna release on the 13th of July, and this is what it looks like. So this game alternates between a puzzle part and a narrative-driven part, and this is, if as you probably guessed, the puzzle part. And um, I didn't play through this level yet, because the game has only one save slot, which is quite annoying. You can't replay previous chapters. So that's... I, I'm gonna have to figure this out while you all watch, which might end in a disaster, so be warned. But I'm gonna give my best. So this is the puzzle part, and it uh, revolves around those blocks and the colors. The device I have in the lower right allows me to swap the color of the device with the color in the block. So nothing happens if I click on a, left, uh, on a white block, but when I click on an orange block, the block becomes white, and the device becomes orange. And I can pick up green, for example, swap that with orange, and, and you see how this works. Um, you might have noticed this block refilled. That is because it's a special block that just refills in green every time you pick it or you swap the color with it. Uh, even if you put orange in there, the orange will just be overridden by green, um, which probably screwed up the level, so let's restart that. And um, so the next important mechanic that uh, and that is in here, are those barriers. So as long my as my device is white, I can't pass it through this barrier, blocked, access denied. Those areas also are bridges from time to time, which is quite interesting, but most of the time they just lock off an area. Um, and I can pick up orange, well let's not pick up this one, let's pick up orange, and uh, then we can pass through it. Okay, so this is probably not gonna help. Um, so the, the next step in this level, I assume, is getting this orange out of here. So we have more orange. We probably need more orange for something else. That's just an assumption here, but it's probably true. So if I pick, put the orange here, I can't get out of here anymore. So that's that's no good, obviously. So let's save the orange here. Let's pick up green. Uh, get green here. Pick up an orange. Go in here. Save the orange here. Take the green. Get through this barrier. Uh, swap with the orange, get the orange through here, pick up green again, there we go, okay, we got the orange, good. Um, now I probably want to get the orange out of here, like I don't worry about green, I have a refilling green cube over there, so green, green, I have an infinite amount of green, so that's not gonna be a problem. So we probably have to get that one as well, that's a white barrier, um, let's, let's just pick up green and see what I can do with that. So I go in here, um, get white, get orange, uh, yeah, that, that works, I guess, somewhat. Nope, that, that doesn't work. Oh wait, yeah, because you can't shoot through the barriers. So, no, that doesn't work. Um, So let's reset that, get out of here. Probably have to make this one white again, so let's actually get white. You have to make sure to not make too many green things. Uh, wait, that didn't work. That's important. Um, but for now we have green here, because like every time I get a green from here, I destroy one other color, uh, usually white, if I don't destroy orange on purpose and you you might run out of blocks <laughs> which can be a problem so I have to be careful with how many greens I take but I think I'm good on greens usually so um, now I take this one pick up the orange shoot it over there and now I can get out of here again and I got the green with me even which might be good or bad I'm not sure so I'm not sure what I need those colors for yet so let's um, go further. Oh, this is one of those. Like, you seem to lost, to feel have lost your memory, and there are those places where you get some flashbacks from time to time. Um, but the main narrative is driven in the other part of the game. So, I need orange here. So, let's take orange. Oh, yeah, I just have to. Okay. Uh, where did I put the other orange? There. Um, wait. This door glo closed. There was no door before. Oh, that's just a wall. There's just a... There, there's a... Wait. Yeah, there's this wall which blocks me the side to this. I have to... I, I'm pretty sure I have to get back. Uh, because I think I need to place the orange one somewhere else. Yeah, there's... Okay, there's a wall. I got confused for a moment. <laughs> was there a door, door closing or something? No, it's just this wall. So I'm pretty sure I need this orange block over here. So... Uh, actually, yeah, not necessarily. Um, 
Actually, you know what? I take a white with me. Let's keep the green here. Let's put the white here. Unfortunately, there's no sprint button. That would be useful in some situations, because sometimes you have to take fairly long walks. Yeah, yeah, that seems to do the trick. So uh, my assumption was right that I had to get all the orange ones to get through this. There we go. So, uh, there we go. Uh, now I need a green one. Well, a green one should not be a problem. So let's take it, and that's end of the level. Good. Okay, so um, the puzzle parts are always like they're chapters uh, with multiple levels, and we're in the we're getting to the last level of this chapter now, and afterwards uh, we'll see the narrative-driven part. Um, okay, so there are multiple barriers over there. There's a green one here. There's an infinite green cube here, an orange cube. The puzzles are pretty good, by the way. Um, the game design is pretty good in this game. I just have to admit, like, the puzzle design is pretty, pretty decent. I really enjoy it. Um, how am I supposed to get through this? The levels have a pretty good learning curve. Um, they're pretty clean also, like, they're pretty clean logic puzzles. There's no execution involved or anything. It's just, you have to figure it out logically, and when you figure it out, it's fairly straightforward to execute as well. So it's, it's pure logic puzzles for the most part. Um, and they're pretty clean design, and uh, as I said, difficulty is ramping up in a very fair and challenging, or f fair and rewarding way. I think I screwed up already, to be honest. Let's restart this. The game sometimes, and that's actually a fun thing, um, that's something I'm not used to, that's usually not d done well. Uh, the game uh, tries to trick you sometimes. Sometimes it just gives you things you don't need. Uh, but they look like you would need them and it tries to like basic red herrings It tries to trick you into doing something or for example sometimes it tricks you into into um, into tr um, Locking yourself in a situation and you have to restart the challenge. It doesn't happen too often It doesn't happen that often that it is annoying uh, But sometimes just game the game tries to confuse you to, by either giving you something you don't need or by like Getting you in a situation you can't get out anymore and it does that in a very clever way It doesn't feel cheated doesn't feel dirty and it doesn't happen at often enough to become annoying. So um, that's actually a pretty new new experience to me because like other games like Portal usually don't do that, for example. And this game does it, and other games that do it usually do it in a terrible way. So I appreciate that new experience, actually. And um, so yeah, the levels are not super complicated, but they definitely are challenging. So I think I have to pick up this orange and destroy it. I think that's the only way of getting through here. So that's an example of the game tricking me, because usually you don't want to destroy colors, you usually want to destroy white, if you have to destroy something. Um, so that's a good example of the game tricking you. Um, but in a very unannoying manner, because you just restart and you, it's right at the beginning of the level, so it's not a big deal. Um, so I have white right now. Let's just see what is your orange. I probably can just do this, right? Yeah, okay. So we got an orange block here, which I can use... Um, which I probably need over here. There's a barrier used as a bridge. Basically, as long as you have orange, you can't go over that bridge. But with any other color, you can just walk across. And there's a white here. We can get the greens from here. And we can get them out here if you want to. So let's, let's actually prepare that. It's probably useful. So we can get an orange from there. We can get infinite amounts of green from there, but not at the same time. Um, what's over here? Mr. Matthews? Uh, this is... Yeah, I know who this is. It's Madison, right? I guess it's your turn to shout at me now. I am so, so sorry about Alex. I understand. We're under so much pressure and we're both worried about our little boy. I don't know what else I can say. You maxed out what your health care plan could cover. Please, there must be other options. We've taken every help we can. Look, despite what you might think, I'm not the monster here. You have my sympathy, but you really, you do. Uh, listen, I've got kids to see. If you're going through, I wouldn't wish on anyone. But I can't ban the rule. I'm sorry. You can't sign off on this. So yeah, that's that's the memory flashbacks I was talking about earlier. So I'm not quite sure how I Well oh oh yeah, there those little blocks over here. That's that's a new mechanic actually. Should not be big deal though. So I probably wanna 
make one of them orange. Let's make one of them orange and one of them green. And let's keep one white because that might be important. Oh, if I can do that, that is. Can't right now. Huh. Uh, okay. So, how do I get an orange block over there? Don't really right now. You usually can't move blocks, by the way. Never happened before so far, so... Uh, might might happen at some point in the game, but so far blocks are unmovable. Uh, how? How? <laughs> okay, I'm a little confused now. Can I get back here and do something with it? No. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. As I said, I could get stuck here uh, because I'm playing through this blindly because no save slots. I usually try to show off parts of the game that represent the game well or in a fair way. Um, so interesting puzzles or whatever. Well, but not necessarily interesting, but average puzzles or, or the, the good ones and the bad ones or something along those lines. Uh, also to prevent situations like this where I just get stuck. Um, Maybe can something do something from here. Oh, I can shoot them. Okay, I can make them green here. And I can also can make them orange here when I get the orange through there. I'm not supposed to get green out here. I'm supposed to get orange in here. Uh -huh. Okay, so I can make one green. And then I pick up the orange from over there. And a sprint button would be glorious here, but there isn't, unfortunately. So that's annoying. Um, let's get over here. In overall, I enjoy the game quite a bit, by the way, if you haven't noticed yet. Uh, the puzzle part is good, the narrative-driven part is not as good, but it's not just a boring walking simulator. And the story is somewhat intriguing, so... Um, this, the game has that going on for uh, going for it. Um, Graphically-wise, the, for the puzzle... Like, the graphically-wise, it's or in general, budget-wise, it's probably a pretty low-budget game. Production costs are not that high. Um, it's not that bad in the puzzle part, but you will notice it pretty badly in the narrative driven part. It just doesn't look very good. Um, pick up orange, get through here. S swap to green. Swap to orange. Uh, green. White. And green again. There we go! Okay, that wasn't too hard. There's also like documents you can find which give you more backstory stuff like that and now we get to the narrative driven part so there might be spoilers here because I have no idea what's coming up um, so be warned you can turn off now if you want to avoid spoilers overall I recommend the game <laughs> um, so I'm gonna show you the narrative driven part now so we're in some sort of hotel but the hotel I think well, let's not speculate too much because I don't want to spoil too much, if not necessary. Um, but the whole thing is run by robots. And um, you usually have to not trick the robots, but you have to get to a new room every day. And then you have to restart the cycle, quote unquote. Um, also, this glitches out. I'm not 100% sure this might actually be not a bug. This might be... There would be an explanation in-game for this being on purpose, but I'm not 100% sure. It might just be a bug. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. It's it's not completely immersion-breaking here, though, considering the backstory, but I don't want to go into detail. That was probably too much of a spoiler already, to be honest. Uh, but I wanted to note, uh, to mention it because, yeah, it looks like a bug and it might not be. It's not 100% clear, to be honest. Um, same here. Um, so, we're not saying floor right now, we have to go down again to get to our room and restart the next day, probably. I'm, I'm, com I'm surprised I didn't got a call yet. Usually you get, a, you get called pretty frequently when you're in the narrative-driven part or in the hotel. Um, the person who calls you can't call you while you're in those challenge rooms. So she is quiet there, obviously. There she is. Doing really well. We're making good progress. Um, I guess I'll speak to you tomorrow. I forgot where my room is. <laughs> I think somewhere over here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I got lucky. I got lucky. I found the room. Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you the rest of the hotel the next day, I guess, uh, because we have to go through that anyway. So usually you have to um, find something in an editor-driven part 
uh, or something in the hotel to get to the next challenge room. Um, and uh, that triggers the next puzzle sequence. And on the, along the way, you get calls by that lady, and she tells you, she, she, you, you get hints and pieces about the story. Oh, she calls me before the. Interesting. Oh, you're doing really well. Each access point you trigger is breaking down a, a kind of barrier. Is probably the easiest way to put it. Oh, incoming. Oh, there he comes. I was waiting for that one. <laughs> She called before he he knocked. That's unusual. Morning. I hope you had a restful sleep. Breakfast is being served in our restaurant downstairs. I'll let the host know you're on your way. And please enjoy your stay. Oh, interesting. That's not the same message as the last two days. Bit... No, it must be my mind playing tricks. Let's get to the restaurant. Yeah, uh, it seems to be part of the of the story. Yeah, you you can see there is some mysteries going on and stuff like that. He made the the exactly same. Uh, he he woke me with the or he knocked with the exactly same met message in the, at the first two days and this one, this time he sounded a little different and he, sh cho cho he did choose different words. So um, yeah. If you keep going at this rate, as long as your mind's up to it, we'll have you out of here very soon. Still a few pieces of the puzzle missing on my end, but we'll get there, you and me. And yeah, you usually get breakfast now. And after breakfast, you try to get to the next room. So we go down to the lobby. It's a little bit like, um, oh, what's the movie name? The movie called? Uh, the one where he relives the same day over and over again. Uh, Groundhog Day, right? <laughs> so uh, yeah, you can see the whole is run by by robots. Now there is someone I'm glad to see. The weather has taken a most surprising turn. Nonetheless, do make yourself comfortable in the restaurant. And there's there's like always this picture like this 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 there's this show uh, by this robot magician. I, I I find this pretty amusing to be honest. Like it's a it's a robot that does magic tricks. What? <laughs> it's um yeah. He also like I think he's even mind reading and stuff, casting spells and reading minds. Yeah, predicting for predicting fortunes, swallowing swords and fire. Like yeah, obviously a robot can do that. <laughs> I don't know, I find this quite amusing. Um, I like this a lot. I wonder if you actually will see the show. I was in the room, I was in the room already where it will be, but I'm not sure you will see the show during the during the, the game. Um, you also collect or can collect those locks around here. They give you a little bit of a backstory. Um, you can you can find them every day, basically. It's the same, like this one is here every day. I found this on the first day already. And they give you, like it's a, it's a diary of an employee who built this place, basically, I think. And it gives you a little bit of backstory. A very good morning. Good morning. Oh, that, that, okay. This, that, it seems like the hotel is glitching out. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I kind of expected something like that happening because it was kind of hinted in the first two days. Um, so, yeah. Please mind your step. Mind the seems that Mr. Crow left its left in something of a hurry. Good morning. Your reserved table is reserved table is ready when you are. Mm -hmm. It's where you must sit. It's where recurring, 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 and enjoy. Oh Please no! Sit. Take your sit. Mm -hmm. the, the, the hotel is definitely breaking down. What the hell? Okay, I have a feeling I should wrap up the video fairly soon. I have a feeling there might be major spoilers up ahead. Um, Stuff is going pretty crazy right now. So the first two days were pretty regular uh, and pretty samey. And this one is pretty different and pretty glitched out. So um, yeah, uh, I'm a little scared to actually take breakfast right now because I have a feeling something important might happen. But uh, this was there every day. So Mr. Crow left in a hurry and made a mess. Um, that was the first two days all as well, but um, like this is not usual. Uh, so uh, I, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I don't want to spoil more to it, but the story is kind of intriguing, and um, yeah, I, it's definitely a big mystery. The problem with mystery stories is also always, or the danger of mystery stories is always that they might be very unsatisfying when they don't really explain themselves. So my go-to example of that is Attack on Titan, first season one, for example. I really enjoyed the season for the for the most part because I was like, oh, what is going on with that world? Where where the Titans coming from? What is happening with that? There were so many mysteries building up, and then nothing of it was explained, and the main story was actually pretty pretty predictable. So that was a big disappointment and plots that all revolve around mysteries so much or 
depend on mysteries that much are usually like they're thrilling to me while I uh, while I experience them but if they if they end up like unsatisfying then I usually like just paints the whole thing in a bad bad uh, in a bad thing uh, what's the word whatever like it makes the whole experience bad at that point even though I had I was thrilled during experience in it it just leaves in a bad aftertaste afterwards so I hope this doesn't happen here um, but so far I am in this thrilled phase where I think oh what is going on here and I have, have my theories oh there's a table up there I didn't even notice uh, have my theories on, on what is going on here and, and all of that and it, it's definitely intriguing and as I said the puzzle parts in between are actually good they're enjoyable they're like the, the puzzles are well designed are fun interesting ideas um, the mechanics get a little samey um, or got a little samey recently after playing to to this uh, through the second chapter um, I hope they mix it up in the third chapter a little bit and introduce some new mechanics or something um, but nonetheless the puzzles were fun so far and interesting to solve and rewarding because they had a pretty good difficulty curve so far so yeah let's take a look at the options menu the options menu is terrible by the way it's definitely designed for uh, for controllers uh, it's just oh, it's terrible. Uh, let me just demonstrate. So the controls menu, you can um, like this is the way the options menu is designed in the first place. Like what is this? Why why do <laughs> I I can, I don't even want to describe like this is just you don't do this. This makes sense for a controller somewhat. Like you go left right and then up down and stuff like that. But with the mouse and keyboard, this is not a good way of rep of presenting options um no no rebindable keys which is annoying as well like the game doesn't have a lot of keys but still it would be great to have be being able to rebind them actually there's a teleport button which i didn't unlock yet so the control screen spoils mechanics but at least it tells me there is another mechanic which is interesting um so yeah i don't know red button doesn't do yet it doesn't do anything yet i guess i will encounter this in the in one of the uh uh, one of the later chapters, or may maybe the next one already, who knows. Um, so yeah, the options menu, not great. Um, the controls menu, or generally the options menu. Like, the, the layout of the options menu is the worst part of the options menu. The options menu itself is actually okay, like the content. You have subtitles, you have separate sound sliders, um, you have different color schemes, which is interesting. Like, you can choose which color scheme is best for your screen or for your eyes or whatever. Um, and then, yeah, the graphic options are not great. You have a few quality presets. You have resolution settings. Okay, that's good. Full screen and window mode. No borderless window mode. But yeah, this is just a few presets. You don't, you can't control anything. No FOV slider. No anti-aliasing options. Nothing. So yeah, the options menu is the content of the options menu is okay, not great, but okay. But the layout of the options menu or of the menu in general, like the main menu as well, is just. Ugh. It's terrible, <laughs> but nonetheless, the game is fun, so I still recommend it if you, if you can look over this. Um, and um, yeah, it's called the Spectrum Retreat. It's going to release on the 13th of July. Um, I'm TH Point. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Have fun, and see you next time. Take your set. See, sir, take your set. See, sir, take your.